Alrighty then. I am going to be coding in First Show Studios 2019 Community Edition. Basically, in this video, I am expecting you guys to actually have a easy understanding of coding and making games. First of all, we're going to create a new project. I'm just going to use the basic bare minimum console app and call this YouTube Game. I'm going to set it up on desktop, you can set it any, anywhere you want. The default file is fine, but for me I'm just putting it as a desktop so I can easily see it. This is Versio Studio's installer. Of course, you could change the layout, change the look of it however you want. Would, wouldn't really change much of it, but you could change the ID, what form of the ID is, anything. So, this is the bare minimum. These lines right here, it's called comments. This right here is include ISO stream. We need that for anything. What I am going to do is include other stuff like string because that is definitely useful. And then, then I'm going to add using name space std. So when we write down lines, for example, the print, this is the default for printing stuff. This is the basic default. Now, because I have this as a, it gives me an error for this because it doesn't know. Because basically what it's saying, hey, get rid of this. And that's it. So that's really all you need from it. Now, we need a specific file that can run everything. We need, we need to make a bunch of functions that do a specific task. So we have our main, we have our main, we're going to add a parentheses, and then there's different types of coders really. Beginners normally do this, but I would say don't really go by that, even though when I was a beginner I always did that. I always recommend just doing it like this, so it could actually prompt up a lot because it looks a lot more cleaner if you really think about it. And frankly, that's really it. Coding is just basically needing to make everything a lot more cleaner. So next, we're going to make a menu and we're going to make this a void. You can make it to any form you want, depending on what form you want it to be. We're going to make a simple menu. And right here in int, we're going to run menu. Basically, all you have to do is menu. Write down the name of this function. And then put the parentheses. And very importantly, do a semicolon at the end. And then after that, it will run it. Now in this example, we're going to make a simple menu. We're going to use int choice as the choice. Then after this, we're going to be adding the stuff that we want to print. So we're going to use C out and then these two basic arrow keys. And then what we want to print. And it's very simple of how to actually use this. For example, let's make a menu that starts from 0 to 1 to three okay so in this menu it's going to have actually you know what let's make it four so it's going to start off on zero and then we're going to put a point and then we're going to have a space for example the first option you might want to put into a game is play and then what we're going to do is do slash n basically slash n just makes it to the next line for example like that that's all it really does and now it's very important to understand if you want to go to make more than one option, it's very simple. Add no spaces between the slash n and to your next number. This screws up a lot of new programmers of making lines look bad. So our second option is let's call settings. And we're going to do slash n. Option two, let's say credits and then slash in. And our final option is 
0.3 and let's do exit and that is our basic look of a menu. Now that we terminate the program, we're going to see our menu 0, play, 1, settings, 2, credits, and 3, exit. Now we cannot press anything or anything like that. This is just it printing it to the terminal. So if I press any key, it's just going to disappear and it's gone. We're going to make a do while loop. So if we do press it, we could eventually go back on it. Underneath this, we're going to put a do, and then we're going to actually add that to it. Put this right there so it looks a lot more neater. Put our code into this. There we go. And at the end of it, we make a while loop. At the end of it, we finish our while loop while do do while so first of all you're going to put while and then choice not equal zero and then you're going to have your semicolon at the end now I want to put inputs to this well, now we need an input for this. So our input name is just going to be called choice. Then semicolon. And here's what I want to do. Now we are able to be able to put inputs into it. We could do this in multiple ways. We could do this in switches or if else if else statements. Switches is pretty much the best way to go because you do not want to be writing out SIFs all day long. So we're going to go right here and type in switch and then what we're choosing as our input. Basically the choice that the computer is going to take in. Then after this we're going to add another these boys and now here's the real fun that begins we're gonna make cases and all a case is is basically an if statement I can make this case a zero a one a two a letter anything that I want but since this is an int it has to have a value of a whole number so I cannot put this as a letter it will cause an error if you do want to fix that you could change this to a string or a char or whatever you want it to be for our case I'm going to put it as a zero so basically if my choice is zero then it will print out for a zero so let's go ahead and do our C out and let's say you are playing the game slash in and um, semicolon. And for this to actually stop and not continue to the next case, we always have to add a break. If there is no break, then we could intentionally have a infinite, it, it could potentially hit all this. So let's say if I hit zero, all right, if I press zero, if I don't have that break, it's going to hit settings, credits, and exit. That's something that we do not want. So case one, little double dots, see out. And let's call it, let's say this, your and the settings slash n semicolon break 
you get the picture, do this again over and over and over until you get sick of it. And for credits, I'm going to put, let's say, And finally, our final one exit case three. See out, and let's say, okay, bye. As or exit, and then finally, our break. So we got our program running. So we got our program complete. So of course we see zero, no bugs, no nothing wrong with our program. For bugs, it's quite different. So let's go ahead and start terminating or start executing our project. Now you're gonna have bugs. So let's say zero, you are playing the game and then it closes the window because it has no other code to execute and if we hit 2 by Alpha Ninja and 3 okay by okay now right here we're gonna have to put to a 3 so basically if we hit zero it's not going to end the game what's in what's going to end the game is our exit it says okay bye this is very important if the choice is not equaling to three then it okay okay if the choice is three it's going to stop executing if it's not then it's going to continue executing and that's what a while loop a do while loop will basically do and also something to note if let's also something to also note so you might be thinking hey this program is executing this you are incorrect it's executing int because if we get rid of menu right here even though right here we could say, hey, we want to look at the menu part of it. It's going to give us a basic error code. Oh, not an error code, just the default nothing really happened code, which is better than error. So, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.